efficiency at running back throughout spring. What kind of challenges that make for the coaching staff and offensive staff? Well, it's in we're you're you're as hard as you go, practice, train, they're in shape, but no matter what the position, if if sometimes as a coach you will try to lean on players to get you through practice because he knows what to do. Right. Or you're thin in a position so you got and what can happen guys actually get too many reps and you worry about wear and tear come the third and fourth at the end of spring ball and then how that transfers into the summer. Because all you're doing in, in through the winter to me, through the winter and the spring and summer is and Coach Mick used this analogy a week ago. It's, you're not working hard, you're work hardening. You know, you're hardening your body to be a solid practice player. So we gotta be crafty whether like, um, you know, uh, Mitch Rossi's playing tight end fullback, I mean, he's played some tailback. You know, DeMario can play you know, the slot and the tailback. Uh, back in the day, Jalen Gill's done some of that. So the, the deal is you just don't need to over rep uh, uh, Steele. Yeah. You know, Marcus is coming off his injury. Uh, we've got the, uh, Xavier Johnson's been back there playing. And so, you know, we'll, we'll end up having, you know, three, four by the time the signee comes back and the guys will help healthy, we'll be back to a good complement of four or five, really six, seven bodies. But right now it's, and you also want to make sure you have quality reps. So we did a little bit of that today where, you know, uh, Mitch got us a little and DeMario and that's really, we can expand. I would, we've wanted to expand a package for DeMario that never has really taken off. We've wanted to, I've actually wanted to do that with Mitch. Yeah. Had a kid at Oklahoma, a couple of them. Um, that were kind of fullbacks with DeMarco Murray, and all of a sudden we've moved DeMarco out, and the fullback was the running back, and then the next play was two back. And so there's a role for Mitch, maybe. So this gives Mitch an opportunity to play in the backfield a little bit, but he's still a tight end. It gives DeMario to play a little bit of receiver time. We'll, we'll just work through the reps. Uh, the real deal is we just don't need to load up Steel Chambers, <laughs> you know, and get him through the deal. And Kevin, I know you can't either. say much about Master Teague, but what can you tell us? Are you optimistic that it's not too serious? I'm always optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you will have him for the start of the season if you had to guess? I would think so. I mean, but, you know, time will tell. And I think the worst thing you can do, and, you know, I've, I've, for years I've said, you know, when someone says it's a six-month injury, what happens if it, some guys just heal slower? And all of a sudden that kid or that family thinks he's behind. It's a two-week ankle injury, and all of a sudden it takes four. And then you start thinking, you know, sometimes, some, kind, some guys just they heal faster. Their bodies recover faster. Sometimes they get treatment better than others. Sometimes the injury's a little bit worse than you think. So to say there's a specific timeline, but I think the, the timeline of what it looks like for, that's one of the reasons why we do some of these practices before spring ball, you get a chance to get them back. Uh, the deal would be though, is, as he is missing some of these, this work, how will his body be as he comes back, not only be healthy, but then to, to be durable as you go through the day-to-day -day wear and tear playing college football running back.